And Wayne Metzen, an investigative journalist from Washington, has his own theory on the origins of the virus. I spoke to two journalists, one from Mexico City and the other one from Jakarta, Indonesia. And of course, Indonesia had a problem not long ago with bird flu. Uh, both these journalists have been in touch with UN and World Health Organization officials, including a scientist who's dealt with Ebola virus and uh, HIV AIDS in Africa. And it's their conclusion, uh, these scientists who they've spoken to, that uh, this is a very unusual form of flu because it looks like it is a product of some gene splicing. The flu contains elements of bird flu, two forms of human flu, and, uh, and, and, and various forms of swine flu. To them, it doesn't look like this is naturally occurring. The other thing is the target. Uh, for this flu, as, as opposed to other flus, it's not the very young and the very old, it's people between the ages of 20 and 45. And the other thing is, uh, people are not contracting this from pigs. Uh, the National Pork Council here in America says pigs are not being affected. This is human to human contact, so people who either eat pork or are exposed to pigs are not uh, getting this flu. Very unusual, uh, and uh, of course the scientists are very alarmed by the way it's being spread and the, and the speed at which it's being spread.